Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing some work on TC, but it's not the carburetor, sorry. Um, we have a gift here so we can test compression. Uh, this was uh, partly donated to from a channel watcher, so thank you very much for that. We'll get into this in a moment. But we've also juiced up the power box. So let's get that in there and I'll show you this. As you can see the juice box is attached and I'm gonna, just going to plug in the battery tester so on the red and if you look above that line there you should see a light come on the top of that light so there we go it's got 12 12, thir no, 13.2 volts is charging, so okay. 14.5 uh, is maximum, but this should be enough to test whether we have uh, compression. Just turn the engine over. So, what have we got in the box? Let's have a look. Put the tester down. Uh, right, so we have the destructions. We have the, the gauge, we've got the long tubular hose, and we've got two of these. I think these are good for doing the motorcycle, because I can probably get this down through the head of the motorcycle. Fingers crossed it's narrow enough. If it's not, I will have to use the hose on one of these adapters. Uh, say if you're using a motorcycle where it's got the spark plug at an angle, or even a net car engine that's got a spark plug at an angle, you can hold it in there, but it's just going to fly back out again. Uh, so you really need someone to hold it while you turn the engine over. So with this engine, I do believe that I have to put a few of these together to create the correct fitment. Um, let's get that out there. I'm just going to see if I can zoom out a bit because you, this has got no grips on the bottom of this thing at all. No, nope, no, nope, that's fully zoomed out. Okay, so... We want to kind of pull that. It's a bit like the, um, there we go, the air compressor. You've got to pull one and push the other bit so it goes in. And that's the that's the release valve. I'm going to pull you back a minute so you can see a bit more, and then I can adjust the angle. Always the same with me, isn't it? Camera is always camera is always awkward. So I do believe it's this one that's going to go in the cylinder head, but this is too small to go into there. So what you need to do is we need to create a joiner. So is that correct? That looks like it is. So all of these got like a rubber seal on all of them. But that'll have to be clamped into the cylinder head before I can screw this one in. So, let's get the spark plugs out first. And then get on with this. Remember knuckles. Oh, well that was close. Right, so that's all loose. Let's compare this to the adapter that's got to go in.
Yep, that's correct. Might be able to get it in there, I don't know. Is it going to be the same size as the uh, adapter? Weirdly, yeah, look at that. It's exactly the same size. So drop it in there like that. Is this going to work? I hope so. I can't get in there with my fingers. Oh. Now I'm going to have to screw it onto the other adapter and then do it that way. It's too short. This is quite interesting doing this. It's going to give it a bit more... It's going to be a bit easier to do it up. Yeah, that's easier. I can actually do that with my fingers. Okay, so that's in. Got to get the other spark plugs out. That's what I've been told. To do a compression because the other pistons are going to show that as well. And keep the pist uh, spark plugs in order. So that's number three. And the last one. Number four. Looking at them now, they're not looking greasy or oily. They seem to look all right. Okay, so we've got the, the hose here, I've got the keys on me. I've turned on the isolator switch, so let's get this screwed in. Okay, so that's in firm. So there's nowhere really to rest this so you can see it, but I'll try. It's the same old situation. You watch these other YouTube channels and they've always got somewhere where they can lie something. That's actually a good spot between those two. Those two. So if I move you slightly, we can zoom in on the gauge and see what it says. <laughs> if I stand here, I get the reflection. If I don't stand here, there's nothing. Is there a different angle I can use? Oh, that's better. Right, let's uh, let's uh, give uh, cylinder number one a few turns and see what it comes up with. shins cut off by the toolbox. Right, let us know what it reads. Open the door. Oh, it's steamy in here. Open the window. Of course, we're not going to be starting the engine today. Right, keep an eye on that gauge. Oh, 
Oh, petrol's just flying out everywhere. Right, so that is 125. That's pretty good actually. I think I'll grab the bottle and chuck the um that uh yeah, don't want to waste any more petrol, do we? Cylinder number two. Hundred and twenty-five. Okay, so it's, this is looking good. Okay, number three. I can't get it to go underneath that. Uh, it just don't want to bend. So what you're looking at is zero because I pressed the little valve there. So, right, let's try this one. I think the battery is bad because it's it's starting to fail already. I can feel it. I'm turning the key. I'll only turn it a couple of times. All right, here we go. I think it only needs a few rotations just to give a reading. That's about 115. That one. So we've got, oh, we've got 125, 125, and 115. Shall I give it another turn? I think I might do. See if it does, see if it reads a bit more. Yeah, it's gone up to 125. So that's all three so far reading 125. This is this is looking good, guys. This is looking good. Right, let's plug in number four and we'll find give the last reading. Right, final piston. I've zeroed the gauge. So let's see what happens. Three, two, one. Slightly over 125. So I think from conclusion, this is looking all right. I don't think the piston rings are bad, which is a good sign. So we don't need to rebuild the engine. Um, I think it's the valve stem seals um, and the carburetor being uh, too, far too uh, rich for all the because it's got these deposits. It's just learning how to balance it correctly. Um, I'm going to try and get the tooling I need to uh, get the the valve stem seals out. I think that is a good choice. It's a good option. Um, carburetor video will be coming soon because it needs to. I've got the bits now for the carburetor. Excuse me. <coughs> that one's for Alex. So we're looking good. We're looking good. So thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you ever so much for all the recent subscribers on the previous video of this car. Um, TZ and I really appreciate it. It's fantastic. Thank you. And. Um, yeah, hopefully I can bring you more very soon. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to um, hit like and subscribe if you wish. And there's also memberships if you wish to do that also. And see you in the next film. Well, TZ doesn't need his uh, driver day sticker and the plaque anymore. It's not 2023 now. Oh, don't break it. Damn it, I wish I'd found my side cutters. I don't know where they've gone. Oh, this is not clever. There we go. I think I've damaged it, look. Oh well. I wonder if anyone keeps these things. I don't. No, I've never had one before, so I don't know if I need to. There we go. I have to give TC's grill a clean. There we go, back to normal. TC looking like he should. Thanks for watching everyone.